Alright, it's time to put a stop to this once and for all. It's like this. Foundational black Americans created hip-hop, period. With no help. Not from no Jamaicans, not from no Puerto Ricans, not from no Africans. Foundational black Americans created hip-hop, period. All aspects of hip-hop with no help. And I'm about to prove it. This video is going to be the end-all, be-all. Make this video go viral. Because I'm about to body these fools with facts. What well, I'm about to show you right now is a clip of a video from 1968 of a black gang walking down the street rapping, freestyling. Now, we all know hip-hop was created in the 70s. This video I'm about to show you is from 1968 before hip-hop was ever created. Take a look. Somebody come try to take over my dirt. Place I live. And because I don't want nobody bothering me, I guess that's why. I use game wars to uh, protect my territory right here, to protect this area, the turf. That's why I game war. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Be on Darren Street, right here. First, we we'll be on Darren Street, drink on drinking. From all the rest, who drink the most? The scarlet folks. It's in my cap. Those apple jacks. Up all the day. Keep the niggas away. It's in my khakis. Banana wackies. It can't be beat. That <laughs> I drink myself because it can be a nice feeling when I'm drinking. Nice high. Make me feel right then. Then I remember when I'm sober. It makes you feel kind of good. Feel like you could beat the world. And that, uh. Nobody's gonna bother you, you know, because you feel as though you can't get hurt. Shredded weed. Oh, yeah. It's in my socks. Oh, yeah. Bird on the rocks. Oh, yeah. It's in my shoes. Oh, yeah. oh what a fool. Oh, yeah. It is so fine. Marvin, they leave. Because... Look here, children. Now how come? This here barbecue looks so blown. Speak up, sister. You ain't dumb. How come? How come? How come? How come? We were dancing for the cup. But the band done stood us up. No dive and no jumping? Well, I guess this calls for something.
boom, 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 boom. Puerto Ricans were right there. And you know what? Shut your dumb ass up. Puerto Ricans ain't even come around with this hip hop until the late 70s, early 80s. We're talking about the creation of hip hop. Just because you was there hanging around black people didn't mean you created it or helped create it. What are you talking about? Stop trying to claim foundational black American culture. Black Americans, found it, foundational black Americans created every major form of American music. Prove me wrong. Gospel music created by black American slaves on the plantations. Jazz music created by black Americans. Rock music that your white people love so much created by black Americans. What are you talking about? There is no United States or its culture without black Americans. Period. Blues, black Americans. Funk, jack, black Americans. Soul, black Americans. R&B, black Americans. I, well, I could go all day. All day. What are you talking about? Now let's start with the creative graffiti. Cornbread from Philly. Take a look. I was the world's first graffiti artist. Started here in Philadelphia, and went to Europe, Japan, Africa, you name it, it's there. And all rules leads back to me. This right here used to be a wall of the electric company. This is the very first wall I wrote on. I got the name of reform school because I insist that the cooks would bake some corn, but I suppose the white bread that we're eating every day. And every day I would go back to my restaurant by cooking the cornbread, and every day with a green by my shoulder to get your ass from uh, the name cornbread had a ring to it. I got the name, the name of the back of my shirt and I started writing it all over the halls of the juvenile institution. Everybody talked about my name all over the jail. So I figured if they talk about my name all over the jail, they would talk about my name all over the street. And that's exactly what happened. The more they talk, the more I wrote. The more they talk, the more I wrote. As he did this, his name seemed to grow and grow and grow. and. He just became a household name, more or less. 1971, a friend of mine named Cornelius Hosey got killed. And we called him Corn, short for Cornelius. The newspapers thought the corn was short for cornbread. And they erroneously announced my death in the newspapers. So I said, I know what to do. I'll snatch everybody's attention. So I went to the football of the zoo. I wrote on the concession stands. I wrote on the wall where the monkeys at, where the lions is at, on the park benches. I wrote cornbread lids on both sides of the elephant. I got locked up for that. Are we done yet? Are we done yet? I just body Joe with facts. I come with receipts and recipes, nigga. That's right. I come with receipts and recipes, nigga. Call me the chef, nigga. No Raekwon. What are you talking about? All my FBA people make this video go viral. Hip hop as we know it was created in the 70s. But black foundational black Americans were doing all the aspects of hip hop decades before the 70s. So how the fuck Puerto Ricans have something to do with it? What are you talking about? This is FBA TV. Make this video go viral. Why?